Hello, Atlanta, Georgia. How are you all? I hope you're well. I know I am. Oh, you did it. You came to the right place. Do we have the place? Squares? Harmontown is now in session. Put your hands together for the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you. Your railroads, God bless your, your your airlines, God bless Coca-Cola, God bless uh, AT and T Mobility. We are we are in a we are in an, a, what's called an alpha city, Jeff. We are in a, a center of world commerce, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. What? Uh, this is a, this is a gigantic like global. Uh, it's 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 been the nexus of uh, of American civilization and, and and beyond. I'm not being. It sounds like I'm being sarcastic, doesn't it? <laughs> if I were from here and someone started saying that, I'd go, "What's this? A setup for like he's gonna take a piss on our faces?" Uh, no, I I I I've been Wikipediaing you today, uh, as I do each city we go through. I do a little bit of research, and I I was stricken by the history and the the fucking human pain and the and triumph. <laughs> Uh, it's not funny. <laughs> it's, it's, you should laugh. We're in a comedy club. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I say something that makes you laugh, but truly, like, what a, it's a beautiful, beautiful... We're, we're, it's, a, it's the most historical city in the country. I'm going to say that right now. I'm not, I'm not an expert. What are you basing that on? Well, you know, you'd have to go, like, well, what about Virginia, Dan? What about Washington, D.C.? Fuck politicians. This is a... <laughs> The, 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 the politics is not history. History is blood and humanity. This pl the, the, Atlanta, like, out of, probably out of any city we'll be to on this tour, maybe out of any city in the country, certainly paid the price for the uh, Civil War conflict. Like, just sat here and got destroyed. Like, 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 was just in the crossfire because it was at the center of all these railroads. It was a strategic location for military operations. So, you know, uh, this guy, General Sherman, sounds like kind of a Dick move. Uh, just, ju just because it was on its way to Savannah, right? Just decided Atlanta should be burnt literally to the ground, every scrap of it, except for hospitals and churches, uh, quote Wikipedia. Uh, so that everyone can sit and go, dear God, uh, <laughs> and or uh, heal, heal my leg, my house is gone, and everything. But, but it goes beyond that because it's like, and I think this is really, really, really interesting. Like, like, I, I don't know where we'll go, and I'm not, I'm not a historian, certainly not a Civil War historian, but just reading about that, I'm going, okay, so I bet this place got it the worst out of that whole conflict. I bet the suffering was the worst here. Like, the biggest battles took place around here. The, the crossfire was the worst here. The place was burnt to the ground by... by what's that? Kennesaw Mountain. To, are you, is, is this a rival for who got it worse? <laughs> are you saying, or, or is that like a wounded knee like of Atlanta thing? Okay, well, you know what, I, yes, I'm, I, yes, thank you, I'm not... Ken Burns, everybody. <laughs> Ken Burns is here. Fucking amazing. <laughs> hey, I don't come to where you animate photos and tell you which keyframes to set. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not discouraging you calling something out, I'm just, I'm just making sure you're maybe agreeing with me or disagreeing with me. If you're disagreeing with me, shut up for a second. Uh, okay, uh, but 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 if you're agreeing with me, hallelujah. Uh, but 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 I, 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 the thing I was stricken by reading about it was okay. So it just it, the place was just raised by this by this horrible bloody conflict, and then the first to bounce back like gigantically, and and uh, and, and and just became like the center of commerce again. You know, it's like the, constantly being punished for being this nexus of civilization, and then also because it is a nexus of civilization, like not having the option of being you know, fucked up. Like, it, 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 you look at, like, Flint, Michigan, and you go, oh, shit, you know, uh, we, we had an auto plant here, and then it closed down. That's why you're being raped right now. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're in a city that was ordered burnt down by a federal empire and then popped right back up again in a, like a game of whack-a-mole and, be, and became not only, not, only, you know, not only a commercial empire, but... but 
also like at the forefront of the new south of progression and they they, they they coined this phrase i don't know where it came from it was your uh willie b hartsfield what was that his name and your, your mayor from the 40s to the 60s to the 50s when all that shit was going down atlanta was this like pocket of fuck this shit like like let's 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 make some money and build our houses and like, like do this stuff and the phrase too busy to hate uh uh got adopted that's like, like sort of a slogan here i don't know if it's how much bullshit it is but I, I was I, my 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 I caught my breath a little bit when I read that. Too busy to hate, too busy to hate. They got too much shit to do. <laughs> There's too much reality happening here for them to engage in the idea that, that that if you're a black person or a white person or if you you know whatever you're wherever you're leaning, it's it's. There's too much shit to get done. Too many railroads happening. Too many planes coming in. They got places to go. Too much cargo to offload. You know, too much coke to make, too much AT and T to mobilize, um, and now and now they're also a media empire as well. There's a lot of stuff being shot here. It's it's a it's it's a little and it's not you know there's no there's no White House here and there's no uh, it's uh, but it's a, it's 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 the cleavage of our country. It's it's just d drink down deep. Just take a sharpie pen and put it right in there. You mean, you mean like the Rockies and the uh, Appalachians would be like the titties? Yeah, I didn't think that hard about it. I, <laughs> I was just trying to think of what, what, what it is. I didn't want to say vagina because think, that's yeah. the, like, it's, it's the womb. It's, the, it's, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deep, dark, uh, painful, joyful, uh, uh, creative you, you were really busy. vessel. You were really busy on the internet in that bus ride today, man. <laughs> No, it's just the hotel lobby. I went down, I had a Kettle One, and I pulled up Wikipedia. I said, what is Atlanta? And I just, I, I'm in love. I, 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 we were in Texas. You probably heard me blowing them when we, were, when we passed through. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not did, I didn't say, oh, Texas is great for any reasons. I'd say Atlanta's great. Like, like, like Texas, the, I, I, and I also didn't give a shit about Austin. I was like, Texas, we're in Texas. Let's talk about yeah. my infatuation with Texas as this And the cool Republic. thing is, we, we get to spend some time here. Actually, we were doing an early show because we have to get out of here because Bob Goldthwaite's coming in. And, uh, and then Who is awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we, but we get to we actually get to spend the uh, the evening and the night here and and not have to get up like I'm not get on the bus at the crack of dawn or at you know four a.m. or whatever. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I probably have to write some scripts though. I think I, I think it's like I think Fox and CBS. Do you have to write while you're on the road? Uh, I have to write right now. I have to. Yeah, I, I should have a laptop out and going <laughs> fade in. Natalie's uh, she's hot, but she's smart. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling like very vulnerable over here because in the club tonight, I normally have a little iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little iPad and I play music and I put rap beats on so Dan can rap about fucking your mama. And, uh, and believe me, it's going to happen tonight. It's just, uh, it, as sure as the South will rise again. There, yeah. is. No mama will be unfucked in this country. <laughs> and frankly, he will not give a damn. <laughs> Uh, and but also, so the, 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 my my iPad is up there in the booth, and Dustin Marshall, our our, our, our podcast recorder, is, I, I'm gonna have to call out audibles like a sideline coach, like a, and uh, and go like beat number two. So and I, you're I, accustomed I, to a little more control, and I, 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 I thought that I'm traveling with Jeff, and I'm getting to know him. I've been friends with him for over ten years. Uh, you know, we've never been through this experience together, and I I, I really noticed a, a tangible difference today because I I got off the bus and I went to my hotel room. Like, like, Jeff, if he, he can't wear this suit all the time. Like, there are moments when he's, like, wearing just a sweater. But he just looks like this. And those are his vulnerable moments. This is how he sleeps, wearing what I'm wearing. For the podcast listeners, I'm, I'm dressed like Jerry Mathers uh, at, in 1990. Like, uh, when, he, when they were maybe doing, fucking around with a new Leave it to Beaver show. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm like a J. Crew uh, kind of, kind of, kind of so, casual. I, I, I don't know that I've ever seen you in a. This in is a how role. Jeff cuts his vegetables, uh, dressed like me, <laughs> and sleeps. And so we, we rolled into town, and Jeff was wearing his little sweater, and he's like, like we came to the venue to do the sound check, and I, I know that I know this look in his eyes, like he's just focused, and then he just opens the door, and he's just walking around. I was like, Jeff's, Jeff's being snooty, like no one get in his way. Let him, let him. Uh, what, what's, what's happening? Not snooty because I don't think anyone interacted with you. you but, but I can, I, I, I cut you a white path when I see a certain look on your face. And, uh, it's a good idea. and I was like, I think, what, what is it? What is it? And, and, uh, and then I figured out, oh, he doesn't, he's not in his suit. He needs to go back and get in his suit. He has a sound check. And all I needed stuff. to shave. Uh, you know, I'm of the, I'm of the, the feeling that like, I like Frank Sinatra, like, like he, he had the, he had rules that you, when you want, when you go on stage, you shave and you wear a suit. So I, 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 I'm I, the opposite. We rolled into the hotel, and I was, I was like, I'm gonna go have a drink, and then we'll go to the venue. And Aaron said, "You have to change your clothes. You, 
you stink, you, you look gross, your pants are from a different era of, of, of body weight, you look like you have a load in your, in your pants. Like you, you just, just you brought all this nice clothes, just change. And I said, I, I want to have a drink. And I actually really said, and I wasn't being ironic, I said, do, do you understand that I'm a baby? <laughs> and, and, she, and she went, yes, I do, I'm changing you. And she made me put on this sea foam sweater and this these navy blue pants, and I feel great and all this stuff. But I th me meanwhile, in a, in a different hotel room, you're going, my clothes give me my power. Uh, so we're, we're we're opposites there. I, I would have come out here in a diaper and I would have just pooped and. Uh, I, 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 if no one else had said anything, I wouldn't have known it was I a mean, bad thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously there's a live crowd, but for a podcast, I'm surprised you didn't just come out in a, in a bathrobe because, like, didn't you? I used should. To, you, you used to show up at, at Paramount for Community in a bathrobe, didn't you? Or pajamas? Yeah, yeah. You used to show up at work in pajamas. Like, you were like one of those, who was the, the, the crazy brothers that made The Matrix and the guy started just dressing like a crazy. Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like a lazy, uh, <laughs> non gender uh, Wachowski brother. Uh,. My, I, I'm just looking at my Evernote notepad here. Uh, my armpit smelled worse in Louisiana. I wanted you guys to know that. I don't know if that's to your credit, <laughs> but I felt like it was. Like I felt like the humidity level there. Like I, something. But I, I don't think I could ever live in, in anywhere in Louisiana. Yeah, I, 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 I caught a little bit of that walking past you, and it was like it was like kind it was of weird. A, it was like a Coachella Burning Man kind of like. Uh, it's got, it's got to be a humidity thing. Like there's certain chemicals in my armpits that don't evaporate in Louisiana quick enough, <laughs> so you're getting a certain combination there. That drug enforcement checkpoint? What the fuck? This is a crazy... Uh, what were we driving from? Texas to Louisiana? And there was this sign that said, drug enforcement checkpoint, half mile. So everyone freaks out, because... Shocker, we've got weed in the bus. <laughs> There's a reason we're not flying. <laughs> like, like, if we wanted to have to deal... Oh, what the fuck? It got, Fucking America, for God's sake. By the way, the irony is I haven't smoked any yet, but I'm just like, I'm going on a tour bus. I'm taking my weed that I have a, I have a prescription for. I, I, get a, I get a lot of anxiety, and I live in, a, in the great state of California. And, I, uh, and if you're out there and you want to ruin our life, go ahead and follow us and pull us over and ruin our life. But, but uh, um, I, there's a drug enforcement checkpoint. Oh, oh what's that? Ah, we'll go and zip the pockets and re-zip them. And what are we supposed to do? All right, everyone hold your weed and wait until there's flashing lights, and then we'll all flush it together and all this stuff. <laughs> and then nothing happens, and nothing keeps happening. And somebody gets on the internet and looks it up. They, they put these signs up. They're like tricks. And th because obviously nothing could be more unconstitutional than a drug enforcement checkpoint, uh, but they put the signs up, and anyone who gets off on the next exit, they follow. <laughs> it's, it's like they're, they're hipster watching. profiling. Like they're, they're just like. Like they figured out a new way to detect. I think I, also they're they're looking for people that are ditching stuff out the window. I thought I thought like that's just maybe is some enterprising drug addict who just put that sign up. Him and his buddies like ah, no, need it, got it, need it, got it. Yeah. Well, my my uh, I stayed in a handicapped room in Louisiana. This was weird. I, 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 there's if there's physically challenged people. Those like, walls uh, were thin. I we had a, we keep getting adjacent rooms and I keep learning like a little bit about your like. You know, diurnal patterns and things like that. Dan and Aaron checked in right next to me, and the wall was razor thin, p tissue paper thin. And I, and the first thing I hear them doing is Dan's going, nee, 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 nee. Well, that's, <laughs> like, and we opened up the little doors. We had, we had the doors that open up. I'm like, are you, are you seeing Jurassic Park in there? <laughs> yeah, because it feels like like when you get off a tour bus, you're like. You know, it's very constrictive, and like you say, uh, everywhere you go, like there doesn't need to be dinosaurs there for it to feel majestic, you know. <laughs> I'm in Louisiana, it's great. There's a bandana for sale in the gift shop. I can feel alive and free. I don't know. I, just feel, I feel John Williamsy when I get off of a vehicle. I, I feel like I'm looking at a, a, a brontosaurus. Uh, Handicap. It said handicap room, and then there was a button. I don't. Know, I, I, I hope there's somebody in the room that uh, is uh, physically. I don't know what the latest phrase is, but physically challenged uh, that knows what it means when you have a, a handicap room, and there's a like a doorbell button outside the hotel room, and it says press and hold for five seconds. What happens then? Can handicap people just rob me? Like, <laughs> like if you if it, in, they, they, don't, they don't need a key, they're not that special. They don't get to just rob. Was there me. like a handrail in your shower? Or there special? No, there thing? was nothing. The only thing, and this is on them, not me. I'm not, I, 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 like the air conditioner didn't work. 
So the joke becomes obvious, like, oh, it's a handicapped room. <laughs> That's not my fault that they, that they did that. This guy's getting up to leave, because... <laughs> he's, he's walking, at least. Well... <laughs> He's, he's walking to his, his crutches and he's gonna <laughs> throw one at me. I uh, no, seri- I, the, nothing again. I, I, obviously, I'm, I'm nothing but an advocate of, of, of anyone that, that wants to feel special about anything. Should we bring Spencer up here to have? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Here? Let's get Spencer up because we're our time. We gotta we gotta do a bullet train Harmontown. For show those of tonight. you who do not know Spencer, he is our dungeon master extraordinaire. Welcome, dungeon master Spencer. He has his own musical theme. How's it going? Oh, Mike, 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 how's it going? <laughs> Wait, we can't get a mic stand for Spencer. He's got to roll dice and shit. I don't need a mic stand. Oh, he can use mine. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go Alfresco. I guess I need a mic stand. <laughs> so Spencer, how have, you, how have you been enjoying your trip Great. so far? I've been enjoying my trip so far. <laughs> He's, good. Good. He's very good. Uh, I, I doubt there's anyone here who doesn't listen to the podcast, but uh, uh, and I don't think there's anything we can do to make you enjoy the show if you're if you've if you've been, if you've stumbled in here going, I, I want to see some comedy. Uh, but uh, just to re- re- refresh you, Spencer is our dungeon master. From uh, he we we asked if there was a dungeon master in the audience in Los Angeles. His hand shot up, and uh, a friendship was born. And now he's on the tour bus with us, and we're learning all kinds of things about him and. The other shoe's not dropping. You keep you keep yeah. waiting to find out that he, you know, always like hangs his underwear on I, his. I, I'm, I'm a little worried because like, I, I sleep like a like a beautiful little angel baby on the, on those tour buses, and I think everyone else has too. But every time I come out to the to the to the front area, you're you're wide awake. You you you're having trouble sleeping on that bus. Yeah, and every time you're sleeping, I'm just standing there. A <laughs> lot. <laughs> uh, a lot of the documentary footage is going to be night vision of you. <laughs> Just say Spencer Cam. <laughs> Sleep. That's right, Jeff. Um, we, we had a, a lovely little moment that was documented, I believe, in some sort of uh, video footage and, uh, and some pictures where yeah, he taught me how to play. He actually sh- took me through my character sheet, which I've never really bothered to learn about. And uh, for his trouble, I, told, I taught him a few chords on the ukulele. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's great what's happening. Oh, it's yeah. great. It's a lot like the city of Atlanta, this relationship. <laughs> it just keeps building itself up and then r- randomly being burnt down by things. <laughs> I, I, did I tell you, Jeff, that again in uh, 1917, Atlanta was, was just caught fire, just out of sense memory? Uh, <laughs> it's just a sad city that just... We should be burnt. And they just burnt to the ground again, and they what, built what, it up again. What were the circumstances of that? I died. Th- someone, Anybody, someone, someone dropped burns? a what, what happened? Uh, I only know about Kennesaw Mountain. All right, <laughs> that's it. We, we should, we should, we should journey there. Um, we, uh, also, here's the most progressive thing about Atlanta: their first race riot, 1906. <laughs> now that's thinking ahead. That's some, that's, that's some way before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need to have a race riot back then. It was like, you could just have races just being oppressed and stuff. And they, they, they had a full-blown riot in 1906. Like, a bunch of people died. This is, a, this is, a, this is, the, the, this is a future city. They're always, they're always looking down the road. Um, I think it's the longest you've gone on a Harmontown show without fucking somebody's mother. I don't want to force it, but... Uh, <laughs> right. Fuck, fuck, okay. Oh, General Sherman's mother? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Dan, we, are, we, have, we, have, we have a couple of new beats. D- Dustin, let's, 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 are you what? You what? Oh, good. Well, oh, you we'll, know the chorus? What, what's your name? Deanna. Deanna. Okay, we'll bring you up in a bit, right. Deanna. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a very... That's no, a, let's bring her up now, because we got to do a Reader's Digest where... where, where should we? Should yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Take this. Is there, here we got another strap. I could just... Uh, uh, she could share my mic. Because... Uh, 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 we also have this. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm finding all kinds of shit backstage. All right. <laughs> he, he just brings out a giant banana. <laughs> it's a pencil. A pot of gold! <laughs> This is a great room, by the way. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you come here all the time. This is obviously like a comedy mecca. Yeah, it's and, cool. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, it's really cool. Um, people seem very proud of being here. Like, I mean, a lot of cities do. Austin's very proud of being Austin. But like, like people I know that are from Atlanta, like they, they, they're really proud to be from here. Then they're, then they're, they should be. I, I tell it's 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 a, it's. Inc- uh, I mean, on paper, it's not. I haven't walked around and touched any of the fountains, but <laughs> from what I've read, they should be. All right, they Dustin, uh, pick one of the new. We got two new beats for you. Our, our, our no. be- oh, Jesus Christ! 
Uh, yeah, you're gonna need the handicap room. Uh, yeah. Do you like that one? Well, it doesn't. All right. Well, this is just a warm up. We won't use Deanna yet. No, but this is fucking Sherman's mama. Oh, okay. Do you like that beat? You want to hear the other one too? I don't know. Well, I don't like General Sherman, so fuck it. You know, let's 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 give him a shitty beat. Yeah. 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 I'm General Sherman from the Union Army. My butt is full of peanut butter. It's swarmy. I, I don't like my mom. I, I fuck her. I'm a big doo-doo head. I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole. I, I belong to a machine. An empire that does what it pleases to me. I, it's stupid. I'm trying to get historical. But I'm General Sherman. I'm, I'm retarded cold. Wait, I thought you were... I thought you were... Now, gen, 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 General, General Sherman wrote that rap badly. He doesn't know what he's doing. He just he just burns shit down when he when it's in the way. He's an asshole. Oh, so, so that wasn't you fucking Sherman's mom. That was Sherman. That wasn't me fucking up a rap either. That was, no, that, was <laughs> that was that was that was I did that artistically, like 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 that was a meta commentary on what Sherman's rap would be like. It would be a disaster. He it would be uncoordinated and brutal, and 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 the word retarded would be in it because he's an insensitive fucking like lout, like 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 decking himself in in, in medals he that he didn't earn. He got a butt full of peanut butter. <laughs> he's swarmy. Swarmy. I assume there's like ants are coming because of the peanut butter. I don't know. All I know is fuck you, General Sherman. Where, where was he from? Is, is it a town we're going to on the tour? <laughs> I don't know. Ken, Ken Burns? He's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> huh? What? Does it, anyone know where Where's General... Sherman from? Oh, who cares? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just yes. know he's not from Chutes Tooth Mountain. <laughs> Tennessee Mountain. Mountain. Kennesaw. Tennessee? Kennesaw. It's, it's, it's right on the Tennessee Arkansas border. <laughs> What, what, what is it, Kennesaw? Yeah. Kennesaw. What happened there? What happened? It was, just a, battle. It was just a great battle between... It was one of the few battles that the South actually won because we were up on a mountain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you just like, kept rolling rocks and, and the bullets were faster because it was downhill? <laughs> you guys should have just, just stayed on the mountain. <laughs> I bet, yeah, see, like, I, I'm from Los Angeles. Like, we didn't get a whole lot of Civil War history stuff no. in our school. No, it's just like, uh, Frank Sinatra date raped someone there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there this is the, 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 the battle of the four door sedan. <laughs> she wanted to get out. He kept, she, she kept saying no, but not quite no. And then back then it didn't work. And then it's like, uh, you know, and then Sammy said something, but then. Uh, yeah, not a lot of history there. Just a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of Disney, Disney, Disney uh, 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 places where Disney ate. <laughs> Edit it out. All right. Uh, what were, were we? Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, how, what, what are we looking at time-wise? We're gonna. Four thirty-six. <laughs> Five thirty-six. Five thirty-six. Uh, he's not the time master. Six thirty-six. <laughs> Spencer, could you be the voice of the skeleton crotch above me? <laughs> Every time I go to the skeleton crotch. For those of you listening in podcast land, there's a, one of the cool things about the room is that there is a full human skeleton po poised uh, 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 the crow style uh, uh, above my head with its pelvis directly above my, my scalp. About to take a calcified shit all over you. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you what, do, what do you think about tonight's gig, skeleton crotch? <laughs> You look like you're dying, and I'm dead. <laughs> he's, he's, I'm getting heckled by the skeleton crotch. Uh, he's jealous of your flesh. <laughs> yeah, it's 537. All right, all right. So, uh, like, like any, anything, anything else to talk about that, uh, that I haven't already looked up on my phone? I try to, I try to, uh, we got our angry bus driver. We got the drug enforcement. We got my armpit smelling worse in Louisiana. Yeah, we have to get our bus driver on the stage at some point because he's a. He's I want to start like creating a constitution for Harmontown. There's a discussion of this on the on the Harmontown forum, but I I think that uh uh like it has to be based on uh on the rule that that everybody gets to do whatever they want, which I think is kind of a it sh it it could 
theoretically end there because the only exception to that would be if you doing whatever you want gets in the way of someone else doing whatever they want. So, for instance, if I want to punch you in the face, like, but right. you don't want to get punched in the face, then we have a complication there. Uh, so, so then, then, then that's where I, my brain kind of locks up because I'm not a politician and I don't really. Uh, we have to. Fight we have to, to what? <laughs> fight to the death. Just, just, just any time there's a conflict. Yes, like, <laughs> but, Tina, Tina Turner from Thunderdome is in the back of the room. <laughs> But, then if, but if he didn't want to get punched in the face, then all I have to do is come up to him, punch him in the face, and then he goes, I didn't want that. And I go, well, fight to the death. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a nerd's paradise. That seems like uh, my, my middle school. That seems like exactly how that worked. Uh, there has to be some kind of, we'll figure it out. I don't know, we don't have to figure it out here in Atlanta, although I can't think of a better place to figure it out. Like, like, this, is a, this, is a, this is a society that, like, we were in a place called Phoenix, but this is literally a Phoenix, not a literally. <laughs> this is truly, like, if there was a city that should be called Phoenix, like, like, like come on, it keeps burning down, and they keep, like, you know. Yeah, so you guys, are, last time was 1907? Or uh, 17? 17. So you guys are due. <laughs> <laughs> Over to, <laughs> you guys are late. You're, you're late on a burn down. Uh, not funny to them, not funny to them. <laughs> A lot of I think grandparents this, this, died. Uh, this Sherman thing is still pretty fresh too, and I guess yeah. it's a pretty—it's an open wound here. Well, well the, generations yeah. removed. Yeah, yeah, and also, I mean, it's like the Civil War. It's like, well, if you're like, I'm sure there's a lot of like complicated feelings about it because if you're if you live down this way, d way down south of the Chattahoochee, <laughs> uh, it it gets politically hotter than a hoochie coochie. <laughs> Rap beat. <laughs> Rap beat number two. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Southern rap. Yeah. It's, it's a hotbed of political intrigue. I fucked your mama like her name was Cheryl Teagues. I, I fucked her in a bed on TV. I fucked your mama with the base of my knee. I, I went like this. I went like that. I put on my coat. I tipped my hat. I said, madam. Southern hospitality, that fucked your mama, that's reality. I walked out the door, said fuck it. I fucked your mama, put her in a bucket. Took the bucket, threw it to the moon, said, so long bitch, maybe I'll see you soon. Then I went back up there and saw her again. Fucked your mama eight times, then fucked her ten. I talked, uh, 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 At Atlanta, Atlanta. I fucked your mama, uh, glass of Fanta. <laughs> Coca-Cola, AT&T, uh, 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 oh, 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 railroad town, race riots, railroad town, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot. De De Delta Airlines, De De Delta Airlines, UPS! You, you, a UPS! I'm not rhyming, I'm just... Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I have to, I mean... I've never been prouder. Not only, not only is that just good stuff, is that just top grade entertainment, what you just did right there. I just have to put myself in the shoes of somebody that's uh, only heard this on the podcast. And, <laughs> Not having seen you do it in a little seafoam green uh, sweater, <laughs> your, your little Jake Crew pants, little, 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 do your little bit toddler dance. That's like, <laughs> you really are a baby. Yeah. Really you sing am. about pee pee pees and poo poos, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and my and my desire to fuck your mama is really just a desire to get back inside. Yeah, yeah. The womb. That's, that's the last thing you did so was I be could, inside a pussy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but that's what humanity is trying to do. That's a, you saw 2001. It ends with the, you know. I never got that. Although I saw it when I was well, like Well, it's like man is nine. evolving, you know? Then we create robots. Robots turn on us, but then we become something different. We become a space baby. 
the monolith represents the like like kind of like plot points of civilization, you know, hum humanity. Like like the the apes are they touch it and then one of them figures out, oh, I can use this femur bone to beat another ape, and then it throws it in the air and it becomes a space station because everything that happened in between is meaningless. It's all just it's all just beating each other with femur bones, and then we're on the space station. That's as far as we get, and then machines gain sentience and start murdering with their femur bone, i.e., airlock doors. Um, <laughs> And we, we move on, and we become, uh, you know, it's a thankless job being sentient. It's, it, 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 it continues. I'm getting applause from the... From, the, from uh, Kennesaw Mountain. Yeah, yeah, Kennesaw Mountain guy. Ken, 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 <laughs> Ken Burns signed off on that synopsis. <laughs> he loves Kubrick. He loves Kubrick. So you like Kennesaw and Kubrick. Kennesaw and Kubrick and a flip-flop margarita. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Buffett hanging out. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, senorita. <laughs> what do you think about Jimmy Buffett? I don't I, I know. Yeah, he makes my fucking skin crawl. I know crawl. his flip-flops are too fragile. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because he stepped on a pop-top. Yeah, if you can't step on a pop-top without he, blowing yeah. out a flip-flop, you're, uh, <laughs> you're an asshole. You're going to get better flip-flops, and don't, don't, don't burden the listener. I've got, I've got a problem about the plot point of that, that, that the big crisis is that he, he's lost a salt shaker, because they're everywhere. He's you can get salt. He's lazy. He's hanging out. This isn't ancient Greece. <laughs> you have to carry Brian in a sack. It was the it was the seventies. We were hanging out, right? Yeah, no, uh -huh. he, he blows. No. He was. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. I don't think you're gonna find a lot of people sticking up for Jimmy. Oh, they Buffett. do. I think I think the only the only voice you'll hear sticking up for Jimmy Buffett is like a a laminated menu at like a. <laughs> uh, like it won't be a human being. It'll just be a menu. Like like like, like little you know. It'll be like a fictional guy named like P, P, like M, 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 J, M J Mc 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 Fun and Hannah. Do you think Do you think we could use our our, our country riff to, to see if you could try to outdo a Jimmy Buffett lyric just just off the top of your head? And uh, you know I, I can I can do anything here. I'm in Atlanta. I'm, I, 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 this is this is the city that invented rebirth. Well, I'm proud to be from a city. Where your mama has big titties. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. St I can't. I can't say city and then. I'm sorry. Oh, let's start it one more time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a song about the history of Atlanta. He's taking out his giant phone. Will Choo Choo Railroad Town. Atlanta's going down In the heart of the south Where the freight trains come through And I'll tell you one thing, brother I'd rather have another Northern Army Come on through Did I run through a through? <laughs> Maybe, yeah I can't, I can't rhyme That yeah. was too, it's too sorry. You know, Rhyme I, scheme was all fucked up I, 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 I take back the Jimmy Buffett comments. I'm not a country, country guy And I don't think Jimmy Buffett is either And we're wasting their time and Bobcat Goldthwait is outside the door going like <laughs> I don't I don't understand. I have to do a mic check. Deanna was it? Yes. You wanna come join us on stage? Yeah, let's, let's De 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 I'm moving your drink over here. Rubber maid! Uh, that's low on the list. That's another corporate headquarters that's uh yeah. Rubber maid. Fuck Nike. Fuck Nike. <laughs> Fuck Nike. Fuck Nike. Well, is Nike here? Is Nike? Oh, Adidas. Uh, Adult Swim's here. My friends from Adult Swim. My good friend Ted Turner, who I hang out with all the time, started a media empire here. And the Homestar Runner guys are here. Oh yeah, yeah, the Chapman brothers. You guys. Uh... <clears throat> Hello, Deanna. Do you have a microphone, Spencer? Spencer, will you share? Thank you, Spencer. Yep. Well, now we're just... Yeah, get, 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 cuddle up with Spencer over there, Dan. What up? So what do you say? We practice one and then we, we, yeah, so we play a little for, for those of you who haven't been listening, we've been podcasting daily and we've kind of put a little theme song together that we're, you know, kind of, you know... It's, we're it's building it. It's growing as we go from town to town. We have a chorus that's, come on down to Harmontown. Uh, turn your frown turn upside it, down. P is yellow, yellow poop, poop is brown. brown. Come on down. Yeah, here, uh, just, uh, Dustin, would you play it for us? So we can, we'll get one out of the way that way because we need it. And then we'll, yeah, we'll play a little D&D &D and then we'll... Is he D oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. It's happening, yeah. Spencer. It's happening. <laughs> Dan, you're, you're, you're gonna wake up tonight with a night vision Spencer looming over your back. All right, take it away, uh, Dan. Let's see what you know here. See if you got it. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn that frown upside down. He is yellow, poop is brown. So come on down to Harmon Town. Yo, placeholder rap. I'm just practicing this. Doesn't matter if it's crap. I'm usually a high quality rapper. I do all kinds of things. You wouldn't believe it. Rapper, rapper. <laughs> I'm rapping some more. You, more placeholders. It doesn't matter what I do. Just rapping. I'll do a good one later. Phoning it in because Q and you. Come on down to Harmon Town. Sing along even though you're in that frown upside down. He is yellow, poop is brown. So come on down to Harmon Town. All right, okay. We, All right. we got that. We so, got that. Cool. So we're good. That's the end, everybody. All right. Fantastic. So far, we've. Uh, we found a sexy young lady every city to come up and be our Dido to, uh, to, our, to our ersatz M&M. All right. Anybody, is there, is there, is there anybody that got, that got overlooked? Because we, 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 have, we have room on one mic for probably two, two vocal yeah, what, what, champions. Yeah, what, is, is it a guy? Yeah, wait, wait. What's he's, your... he's, point, he's pointing at his girlfriend. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. come on come on stage. Up. Get up here. <laughs> what's your name? Jackie? Are you drunk? Yo, you almost, almost took a spill there. Yeah, I, it's a tough stare. Oh, oh, you got crazy, you got yeah. crazy Herman Monsters on. Don't, don't lash out. I know, I'm saying, I was like, I was, it's worried people about. had their city burnt twice. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, you, Jackie, was it? Yes. Hello, Jackie. Nice to have you here. Thanks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jackie, what's your deal? <laughs> Jackie, are you, are you born and raised in Atlanta? I was. Am. Am. You <laughs> were an am. And uh, what, do you, what do you do? I'm a musician. Really? Yeah. What do you play? Piano. Okay. Oh God, we would be awesome to have a piano on stage. Well, everywhere we go, our crowd is much more intelligent and creative than uh, than your average, uh, you know, Bobby Lee crowd. I would say. <laughs> uh, and so we do want to say, if you're listening in Nashville when we come there, hey, bring your guitar, bring your bugle, bring it, bring an upright piano, bring your bring your little electronic uh, piano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a drum circle in Nashville. Uh, all right, so now we, now, we, now we brought her all the way up from the back. We, we still have to play D&D. &D. Um, yeah. Well, maybe they can, uh, Spencer, can we have a Greek chorus in this somehow, somehow maybe? Or is it, is, it, is it hard to add in? Yeah. <laughs> all right, now I'll do the awkward thing. What was your name? Jackie. Okay, Jackie, when, when, we, when we finish playing D&D, &D, can you come back up? And could you, you and Deanna, like, like, like good, just relax and uh, have, a, have an, a, a, an Atlanta uh, uh, gimlet? <laughs> I'm saying sit down. Uh, I'm sorry. So, so that you're not standing up here when we're playing D&D. &D. We're, 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 yeah, we're making yeah. up the show as we go. Yeah, so start, yes, Thank you, Jackie and Deanna. We'll, we'll bring you up We'll bring second. you back up and yeah, we'll... Okay. <laughs> we we're not, we're not, we're not, what we, what we, what we, uh, what we lack in coordination, we make up for in spirit. Yeah. Right? And, and, and courtesy. We're yeah. very polite about that. I'm All right, so Spencer, if you would, uh, keep us up to date on uh, where we are in our campaign. When we last met, our heroes had just finished destroying a grip of constructs in what they discovered to be a long-destroyed ruins of a town. Mulrain was out of sorts and excused himself. It was just then that Sharpie tripped over an old charred book. Within the covers of the book, Mulrain's dark past opened before them. Once a female and a mother of five, the arranger awoke to discover her children perish in a blaze. Her mind broken, she sought out a new identity. Happening upon a cursed belt of gender switching, the grief-stricken Mulrain took on a new, more masculine role and buried his past with his children. Needless to say, Sharpie and Quirk were a bit surprised, but being victims of xenophobia as well, decided to accept their strange friend's stranger past. The group headed west towards the barbarian encampment, hoping that Mango's barbarians could hold up against the Dark's fleet. All right, yeah. Because of the limited microphones, we, 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 uh, we should have Aaron McGathy come up and play her character uh, really quickly and then, and then make up a reason to leave. Uh, <laughs> at, is, she even here? is Aaron here? Aaron? Yeah. Come on on, Aaron McGathy. <laughs> Aaron uh, is selling merchandise. She made, uh, she would make, I don't know, she didn't knit them or anything, made had all the t-shirts, she's been the merchandise czar for the whole thing, and is Maven. like, uh, ma merchandise maven. Uh, uh, share a mic with me. 
Sure. Um, uh, I'll probably be out there afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T-shirts, two for 25. Even though it's illegal. <laughs> so if you're a cop or your friend is a cop, like, try to give us a, give 20 minutes because if you buy something we'll sign it out there like out those doors and you can you can buy shit out there too but we're kind of cramped here and we're trying to do everything we can for everyone uh, just don't burn your city anymore <laughs> just calm down um, alright so uh, so we're heading west toward the Butzelot encampment headed west yes uh, uh, how long a journey is this who knows perhaps days perhaps hours perhaps you know, a certain amount of time. <laughs> Other than that. I, I say we move as quickly as possible because your father's in danger, Sharpie. Yes. That reminds me, uh, gentlemen, I have something to do in a different area. Um, I may be trying to find a belt to turn me back into a woman because I, I did reveal in our last, uh, last installment that I might have feelings for Sharpie. I'm embarrassed. Please try to forget what I said, but I, uh, I, I must depart. So you're, also, so you're, a, you're a man, and you want to turn into a woman so you can be with your, your with, with a guy that you love. Ha ha! Adventure. <laughs> All right, Aaron McGathy. <laughs> Wait, we can do that. We can just t tell her to leave. Well, I, you know, there's not a lot of mics we, up here. Jeff's yeah. eyes just lit up. <laughs> <laughs> You make your way back through the hilly butts expanse. You hurry <laughs> in the hopes of making it to camp in time. As you get closer, you can hear the screams and shouts of pitched battle, the war cries of barbarians. <laughs> Sorry. Reaching the crest of a foothill. I can't do both things. You can see Yellow Camp. The grand yellow tent is splattered with blood. A massive pit near the camp seems to be the locus of the warring forces. Corpses of gnolls and humans lie strewn across the ground, and you can see destroyed cylinder constructs ripped to shreds and lying in piles of metal cylinders. You can see a massive line of at least, at least 60 cylinders pushing back the barbarians towards the rim of this massive pit. 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 <laughs> you recall this excavation site from before when they discussed they were digging for something. Oh, yeah. yeah That's so, a so, so there's a bunch of those cylinders that we fought, and they're pushing the barbarians towards the pit. I get so confused. I know, man. I get so yeah, drunk. So somebody, uh, somebody on on, uh, on on Twitter or Instagram told me that maybe my flaming dagger is one of the shards. Possibly. I saw that conversation. Yeah, is, is, that, is, it, is it, are, are, Have we been neglecting a shard the whole time? Why don't we just do a quick check? Shard check. <laughs> is that, it, is there's it? no such thing as that. <laughs> we take we take his emerald dagger and hold it near our shards to see if any there's some kind of similarity. <laughs> Just, just to well, make like, some guy on Twitter happy. Like I said, yeah, I, I recently rented Temple of Doom. When they hold the rocks together, they glow. So we, ho no. we, we hold our shards together. Nothing happens. Shit. All right. Well, you hear that out there, Twitter guy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, fuck you and your theories. <laughs> what do you have to say about, about that guy on Twitter, Skeleton Crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost fart. All right. So uh, you're look looking at a fight. Yeah, we're looking at a big fight. Then apparently, I mean, it's, we, we, it was hard to kill three cylinders, but there's a, there's a big line of them now. Yeah. yeah. Do I see my dad? You don't. You grow worried. You're just um, standing. I'm stumped, man. People are dying. By the way, if, it, if, if, if anybody out there's a D&D &D fan who knows what to do and has any advice, please help us out. Make a perception check. Rate of oh, I... <laughs> Was that, was that Ken Burns? <laughs> Ken, Ken Burns. Kennesaw Mountain. Some... Mountain uh, and who's the other one? It also had a K. Kubrick. Kennesaw, right. Kubrick. Perception check. Perception check. Uh, I do a perception check. In 3-5, that's known as a spot check, but... Spot check. Spot check. You see that the pit... Uh, that the cylinders do seem to be pushing towards the pit with purpose. They aren't just fighting. They're looking for something. Uh -huh. so, the, the, so, so they're going to the pit. The, the, the cylinders want to go into that pit and get whatever the, the, the gnolls and the humans were digging for. Accurate. Okay. Uh, is it possible to run into the pit around that line of uh, the fight and dig faster so like, like the, while, while the barbarians hold the cylinders off and get what they're looking for? You can definitely try. I run towards the pit. As you charge towards the fight, plumes of jet black smoke plummet to the ground, waylaying you, and they quickly coalesce into physical forms. Two small mounds of yellowed flesh stand before you. The creatures have humanoid heads and scrawny clawed limbs, but lack legs. You recognize these as the very lowest beasts of the hell, the pits of hell. What's this beast called? 
You don't know. Oh. You, you just see them sometimes. Um, are, are they blocking my way to the pit? They're blocking your way. They slim it, slither towards you menacingly. I uh, Power attack. All right. Uh, three, one to three. Pick uh, one. One, uh, two, three. What, three? Nice. You got a critical hit. Oh, yeah. I'm not even, I'm not even going to roll damage. You slice through the Lemure just as easily as it were butter. It dissolves into black smoke. Thank you. I interrupt the cosmos to remind you to tip Will, who's, uh, who's uh, serving you back there. Wow, this is This, this is, is nice. a guy just came up and pour, pouring us booze. This is fantastic. Be, yeah, thank, you. thank you, Will. That'll be all. The other demon approaches Sharpie. He swings a vicious claw, but, it do- but you manage to dodge. Oh, so today's my lucky day so far. Yeah. All those, right. those hellish creatures were created by the cylinders? You don't know. They just came from the sky. Yeah, is, it, is it possible to take my small friend and throw him onto one of the cylinders? Like, maybe you could ride on one and see, like, maybe it'll, maybe it'll go, go back to the really cylinder. really insensitive, man. <laughs> What's your strength? Uh, it says um, a million now. Nine. Oh. But he's small. You managed to throw him a good 12 <laughs> feet. Whoa. He doesn't land atop a cylinder, but he does hit it in the side. You can try and cling on if you'd like. I, 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 I cling to a cylinder. <laughs> Jeff, what's your climb check? You know climb on the skills? Climb on the skills. We talked about it. Climb on the skills. Hold up. Climb is, is a, I have a nine. Awesome. Oh, nice. You cling to the cylinder. <laughs> Riding the cylinder, it goes to the pit. Oh. Just, now you can ride it back to the cylinder factory and, I don't know, <laughs> from what I know of wait, movies, wait, like, wait. it'll take you to why am I? Why am I riding one of these cylinders? <laughs> because you're just thrown onto one. <laughs> are we, are we, from, we're still friends, right? Just, yeah, you're you know, not so sure you know anymore. No, no, <laughs> you know that gnome tossing is considered highly, like, highly, uh, I'm like, a, I'm not a li- PC. I'm a little drunk. Okay. Sharpie, you can see the largest ship of the fleet floating directly above the pit. The cylindrical constructs float into the air and avoid the barbarians. They spin in a great torrent before descending into the pit. Jeff, you're with these cylinders. You're going into the pit. Terrific. As they lift out of the pit, you can see they seem to be floating something. It's a large, dark, humanoid shape. A golem, but larger than any golem you've ever seen. It looks like it can easily level a city such as Atlanta. (laughs) The flying ship fires off a massive harpoon, striking the golem squarely in the chest. You hear the grinding of gears as the golem is slowly being reeled in by the ship. The cylindrical army starts to drift back towards the ship with Jeff abroad. You can, like, try and jump off. Can I grab a cylinder? Yeah. Um, You aren't as good as jumping as you are throwing midgets, but let's see. Nah, you can't. Sorry. I, 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 I jump off while the getting's good. All right. I think you should you jump off a good 30 feet. Let's see if you can tumble. I don't want to be sucked on the ship with a golem. That's how you... you know, I mean, it's an adventure. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't, I'm going to leave you behind? Well, well, we'll be split up. It's a fun movie. <laughs> you know, it's like... A plot and B plot. Should, should I stay aboard the thing or should Whatever I... Whatever you want, man. Stay? All right. I, I, I latch onto that cylinder. It's like I, I, Star Wars, man. Yeah, yeah. I, the I, cylindrical if... army files into the great ship. See you later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I I hope you knew what you were doing. <laughs> You're all alone now, hotshot. <laughs> I, uh, I I I I I uh, I can't text Mulrain, right? I, that, that, that doesn't exist yet. Uh, so, the, so the cylinders are going up into the ship, and yeah, that seems like a good. This is a cliffhanger good, moment. Good spot to stop uh, okay. in, a, in, a, in a show that has to be. Kinda... <laughs> what will happen? Yeah, S- Spencer, your dungeon Spencer. master. If I can make a request, I, I, I hate to put our, our 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 fans and followers to work, but I, I I would love to see some artwork about what just happened there with the with the with the ship and the golem with the harpoon and me me. Holding on to a big thermos just to go into a thing. It's not the first cylinder you've clung to. Gage up! Oh! Gage up! <laughs> By the power of homophobia! I have the cheapness! <laughs> form of making fun of people for the way they were born. 
uh, <clears throat> Kennesaw Mountain like that. Yeah. He's, he's very erudite. I, was, I picture going back to his apartment and there's a lot of wood, wood, wood shelves and... Uh, he should have rolled initiative and gotten to the battle with the Gollum. Hey, angry, angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, come up here, get up here. I, 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 I want some advice for All next right, time. Let's meet, let's meet, let's Ken meet Burns. Kennesaw. Oh. Famous documentarian. What, what is your actual name, sir? It is Nathaniel Metz. Nathaniel Metz. <laughs> yes. I would expect nothing less. Absolutely. Yes. Are you starting to notice the similarity of archetypes from uh, these guys weren't in Phoenix, but he looks a lot like Tyler Dandy. Yeah, there was a cat. Yeah, there, there's a kind of uh, like a like a. There's like a, a big. There's a there's an Andy Dick ice tray that that. <laughs> Whoa. There, there's, there's a little Wait, very, um, there's a variation, but it's not. There's a. There's I'm a, Andy a, Dick now. No, you, you're, 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 the, you're, the, you're the you're the you're the you're, you're the more clean cut intellectual. Andy oh, Dick. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I never was in biodome with Polly Shore, right? Right, no, no. Not that we know of. Uh, you, you seem like a very well educated man. Do you have a degree in something? Well, the guy I work with is a very Civil War buff, but you you pick up a few things. Yeah. So you don't have a degree in anything? <laughs> no, I dropped out of college. Yeah? What, what, what college did you go to? I went to the University of Georgia at first, three years later. <laughs> <Got on. laughs> I transferred to, in Atlanta, Georgia State University. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. The lesser known Panthers. Oh shit, I forgot the Falcons uh, had some kind of crazy game out there. Yeah, they fucking did. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up because I don't, I don't think of you as a sports fan and probably I'm most of them. I'm not a sports fan, nor but that, I, but that, but that game was insane. It, it was almost as if they, uh, it was kind of an Atlanta moment. They were, they were, it was all being taken from them and they rose back up. We rose like the South, baby. Oh, this is, oh, oh is that why the, the flags say rise up? Yeah. Oh boy, wow, you guys really hanging on to that shit. <laughs> They should. They yeah. should. That's I guess I would too. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah. I said earlier in our, in, our, in our last one in Austin that my name is Jeff Davis, and so it's a very southern name, and so I, I get free stuff from racist uh, store <laughs> clerks. I don't. I don't know if I believe that story. It's it absolutely bad. true, man. It is absolutely true. And then the cab driver, when I was telling him about the racist guy that gave me the beer, turned off the meter when I said my name, and he wouldn't charge me for it. But it's such a common name. It's a, it might as well be like John Jones or something. And I wonder how Bobby Lee would do here. It's like Robert Lee Lee. I mean, he'd probably do really good. Yeah, you're not, you're not, these, these Funyuns are on me, huh, Bobby Lee. Uh, all right, Nathaniel. Like, Thank I, you. I, I always bristle when I meet a Nathaniel because I feel like my name is a, some kind of working man's Nathaniel. Uh, We're rare, though. You got Nathaniel Hawthorne, and that's about it. Yeah, it's like an elitist Daniel. I don't. I did, you never. You never were a Nate. You were always Nathaniel. Well, to, to people you know better, you are Nate because they get tired of the extra two syllables. What's the most important thing to take away historically from Atlanta? Like, like what I've made some ham-handed efforts to try to personalize the city in terms of reading about its history and Wikipedia. But you've been here. You have a history buff friend. You have no degree. You dropped out of college. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're not afraid to pop off. Uh, you're, I've you're, heard you're not afraid of politics yourself. I'm, 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 I don't know anything about them, so it's easy to, it's easy to not be afraid of things you don't understand. I, I, uh, I, I, uh, but, but I mean, I don't know. Is there anything that I haven't considered about Atlanta that, that, that you would like the podcast listeners to know? We're, we're, we're drifting through here, and I don't know. Yeah. What, what's my point? I don't know. The most important thing to know about Atlanta is we are an independent people that love our liberty, and we love our southern heritage. No? Apparently, apparently we have the Yankees, you know, Atlanteans in the house. What did you say? So, are you speaking for yourself? Yeah. Bring her up on stage. I think there's probably a lot of self-loathing that, 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 that is required to happen here. So we're probably the most progressive of the... Uh, of, of the, you know, I don't know. I just, it's it kind of be complicated. It feels like one of those things you're not even allowed to talk about as a as a northerner w passing through. It's like you guys like really owned the the, the whole the, the, the whole conflict in a way that just uh, it's not you guys. You were you 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 eat at McDonald's. At a, at a, uh, Is there a lot of racism still like kind of visible and uh, like around? Ooh. Really? No, no, there are not. Did I see the guy in the sweater vest? There. No racism that I've ever seen in Atlanta. You probably have. No! No! Are you cheering? They're kind of rooting. So, so it, it, there really is like the noticeable racism. Like, like, what form does it take? Like, what do you see? It's against the 
It's against the whites? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, boy. So you're saying that, that, that what they call that uh, the, the, the much uh, maligned reverse racism kind of thing? No. Now this, uh, this is, we've torn this audience in, uh, in pieces. <laughs> I don't think that guy was speaking for the... I, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's complicated. I think there's people that, that feel yeah, obligated to go, ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck it, fuck, fuck the whole, fuck the whole thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's like if you went, went to some neighborhood in Germany, you know, and you were making jokes about, like, it's, it's like a joke to, to other people, but then they're like, oh, fuck that. Like, God damn it, you don't understand. I was raised taking that shit seriously, and it's like, it's, I'm plagued with the, with the, with the scars of it and, uh, on, on either side. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a... It's Nathaniel, a Nathaniel seems to think that it's Completely, it's done. It's all over. Well, he, yeah. That's well. The, I, mean, I think the beautiful thing about Atlanta, it's from what I've read, is that you actually can find pockets where you couldn't believe that because it, it's a, like I'm telling you, for uh, maybe I don't know. Wikipedia was in the business of bullshitting everybody, but <laughs> but, but it was the, this is this was the this was the the mecca of like the kind of uh, the historical black college movement, like the, the kind of like like the, the civil civil rights kind of like were, were were happening here before they were supposed to be happening all around. Uh, them. You know, there, there were people uh, in different places cracking eggs on people's heads because they were sitting at the wrong counter and all this shit. And it was like Atlanta was trying to get its shit together, you know, while, while trying to maintain its identity. It's got to be a very complicated place to uh, have lived back, back then. Uh, 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 I don't know what my point is. Uh, <laughs> fart, fart, fart break! <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. It would, what would be interesting would be to sit down and smoke a joint with somebody that lived here and just like like hear the whole thing, and then you'd only be getting like one percent of the whole story. Why don't we all? Why don't we all just pick a place? Let's all go smoke a joint. I'll go hang out afterwards. We'll get high and we'll talk about race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way to go, Harmontown. There should be there should be a section of Harmontown when we colonize the moon. There would just be a burrow where you can only talk about race. That's all. Race town. <laughs> It'll just be called the ra ra history, racial historical district. And it, just all the shops have to have a racial theme. It doesn't. They could be racist. They could be uh, uh, anti-racist. But it's just like everything. And that way, it will reduce uh, consciousness of race to like a gimmick. Like so, it'll be like, hey, it's the race parade. Yeah. Uh, and it'll come through the other. But then you know the other sections will be no. We're too busy to. to to hate, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, all right. So Nathaniel, what the fuck? No, but hey, I only made a scene tonight because I just want. This is Dan fucking Harmon, and I have been paying attention to this man and Jeff Davis for six years with laser fart. You don't even deserve to be in this war. I I can't tell you the how important these two men are to my comedy life. Yeah. I, He's not a bad person for loving you. me. Sometimes, sometimes you just love me. Hey, I've seen this Dan Harmon talk about how, how loathsome he is and how fat and obsessive he is about himself. Which makes me a god and a hero. Thank you, yeah. But you are looking more svelte than I've ever seen you. You are a... Yeah, I'm fat. No! You are a wonderful human being. Oh, Atlanta. I have seen, next to myself, this is the most naked man I've ever seen in my life. I have seen his ass. I've seen his pubis and the links. His pubis? Pubis, that's right. This educated individual has said pubis on Harmontown. Dan, All right. Dan, show me pubis. You know, Atlanta used to be called Terminus. That was its first name. It was yeah, at the intersection of a bunch of railroads. The signal is the film based <laughs> on Terminus. It's kind of like pubis. I'm going to exit myself. All right. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. That's the Atlanta spirit. Yeah. That's called Southern hospitality. Yeah. None of that Adam Goldberg, I'm not leaving kind of shit. Thank you. What, what, Nathan, let's thank Nathaniel. Nathaniel Metz. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. There's two different ones, but not... But Dan, Dan, I feel like we might have missed an opportunity for you and Nathaniel to rap together. I think, I think it's certainly worth a try. Uh, yeah? yeah? Nathaniel, you, you up for the challenge? Absolutely. All right, uh, Dustin, let's try one of the, the second new, uh, new rap off the email, if you don't mind. Well, when do we bring our, our Rihannas up? Uh, we'll bring them up in a bit. Or do you, or do you want to do to that? Well, I don't know. I don't know what time it is or what, what we're dealing with. We're good. Under and under. No, 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 this, this, is, this is you guys. Yeah, I like that. Yo. 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 Thank you for coming. 
my new friend. I like to see you at the railroad's end here in Atlanta, deep in the south. I fucked your mama and her pussy in her mouth. I like to do things to her deep. I like to fuck your mama. She's for keeps. I fucked your ass. I fucked your face. I fucked your mama, regardless of her race. Dan Harmon, how dare you? You are such an unjew. How dare you come in my face and rap about my mama and her place? You need to go back to community and tell Chevy Chase to fuck off the stupid bitch. This in vacation, that bitch. <laughs> Come here by playing her car, but good to see you've lowered the bar of rapping. You now, come, now anything I do makes you seem like Jay Z. I don't even have to rhyme. I just have to take it easy. Jay Z rhymes with easy. Oh, I'm Nathaniel. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Dan Harmon. I'm not from LA. I'm originally from Minneapolis. No. Now I move. No. I moved to LA. Exposure is the best one-on-one show. How dare they cancel it so quickly? You are the greatest man that I've ever known in my life. DMD isn't Pathfinder. We need to go be a net minder. The NHL just came to town. They left. This is terrible. Oh! Chris Rock did. Chris Rock mic dropped it. Wow, probably the least earned mic drop in the, in the history. Or the most. Or the I, most. I, I've done some that were pretty unearned. I, I, think, the, I think the only le, le, less earned one was like just a guy working an inventory at the microphone store. Uh, <laughs> That was absolutely. Yeah. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> that uh, was uh, that was pretty pretty special. All right, I'm sure you know we 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 came on a little after five. We're we we're, we're pushing our envelope. Yeah, we, we got to clear the room we, for the. Uh, we, we got a little bit of time left. We uh we get it. We well we'll, we'll so, um, I think we should because I, I'm very excited. There's a couple of towns we're going to on this tour that uh that. I love and we're not going to get to spend any time in it. We actually have a full evening because we're doing an early show. Like, let's all, like, let's, uh, like find me after the show and let's, let's pick the best place to go eat Woo! and get fucked up. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, well, without, without breaking into a big We're all going to take our shirts off, you guys. <laughs> I mean, the easiest thing would be to determine now, now that everyone's listening, like where we're going. Is there a consensus on where we should go? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Claremont Lounge is a titty bar. We have a winner. I think it's like the Jumbo's Clown Room. Oh, okay. So it's like, yeah. It's a titty bar. Okay. For old women. Really? It's the most It's strippers go to die. I think, I, th I think strippers just get, get up in the morning to die. <laughs> they, they don't need to go to the Temple of Doom or anything. Just bring her out, gentlemen. She's got seven minutes to live. She's chosen a vocation unapproved by society and yet profited on. She's on two bottles of Percocet. Let's get her out. <laughs> She's a victim of institutionalized sexism. Put your hands together for Methuselah. Methuselah. <laughs> what was yours? Millennia. <laughs> Millennia. She's a thousand tonight. Make her feel special. Her tits are underfoot. One of the ten percent of the strippers to live past her bra size. That's stupid. So, edit it out. I'm trying to connect dots. I'm an idiot. No, seriously, where are we going? Not, we're not going to a titty room. So, so some place where there's room for everybody to be. Yeah. I don't know. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have put it to the room. It's, we'll, we'll never agree. Uh, oh, there's something. You know, so you're saying the vortex is where we are. We can just stay here. It's easy, right? Yeah, but the, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we can't all get in someone's truck. Well, certainly, to do that, tell everything is uh, people who want me to sign stuff not to be presumptuous. I don't think anyone wants anything signed. I'm from Wisconsin. I don't. Uh, 
But if you if you buy anything, and I think we're gonna we'll scoot out that door. But uh, and then we'll maybe we'll hang out and have some drinks and we'll, we'll hang out. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, uh, all right. So now I mean what we yeah, have. Let's get the gals let's back get, up let's on stage. Get, Jackie let's and uh, let's get Rihanna and Dido back up here. Deanna, 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 Deanna and Jackie. How's it going? It's so nice. Like it's like. All you have to do is ask, and uh, girls come up and sing your song. It's so cool. Well, it's not like the community audience was always like you get on YouTube and like everybody that watched community. There was only like two million people that watched it, but all of them were better editors than, than everybody that watched everything else. <laughs> like, uh, pretty pretty interesting. I think I think that I'm I'm doomed to be a a lightning rod for a bunch of uh, of, of geniuses. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my farewell Atlanta rap, and it's gonna be fucking intense. Shermantown. <laughs> What'd you say? Shermantown. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think if I try to, every, every time I try to work a suggestion into it, I just yeah, like, so you, yeah, you're, 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 you're hamstringing yourself by, yeah. by, by putting too much stuff on you. I guess just speak from the heart, man. Right. Yeah. I gotta just spit my fire, man. It's gotta be. You know, like, uh, backstage in the green room, is, there's a, uh, a list of uh, rules of comedy by Bill Hicks, the great uh, uh, Blake uh, comic. Was he from here? No. No. He's from Texas. Uh, he uh, and one of them was just like really just like. Just like, just like, close your eyes and say something, and like, just let it all rip. And I broke the first rule on it, or the, the one he really goes off on. And the first thing I said is, "How y'all doing?" He's, and he hates when people do that. Right. And then Spencer came out and he said, "How y'all doing?" And that's like, you know, when someone doesn't have an opening line, I broke that rule right off the bat. So, uh, you know, I'd say just he'd you know, forgive you, huh? He'd forgive you. Yeah, he probably would. Yeah. Uh, he's probably done. He probably did it a million times himself. That's about how we knew not to do it. Uh, all, all right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. This is going to be the greatest rap. I want you to dig deep, Dan. I want to dig deep. Like, really, like, reveal something. Even if it's not funny. But then it's just, just sharing the, uh, you know, like, the, uh, whatever, whatever's going on. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Muscles and bones in my body. I want to have some calamari. Deep fried squid. I'm so sorry for everything I do, everything I did. Order a plate of fried fish. Gonna make every woman make a wish and then either grant it or not give it to them. Gonna, gonna do it, gonna white glue them with my sperm. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn how to rap from the heart. Don't wanna do nothing on the stage. Don't wanna lay a fart. Come on down to Harlem Town. Turn that frown upside down. Yo, I feel Atlanta's mind. I feel, feel everything I was searching for, I'm gonna find. I see people in the crowd looking up at me. Just don't wanna do anything. Don't make them drink my pee. Just wanna go to your mama's house and fuck her pussy. I don't, sorry, sorry. Sorry, just give it, let me get my bearings. Sorry, hold on a second. Dance it out, dance it out. Head loose, get yeah. number. Railroad, choo choo, bok bok. I wanna do the chicken Atlanta walk. I'm gonna go from the left and right with chicken wings. I'm gonna do all the Atlanta, Georgia things. I wanna have the Falcons beat Seattle. I'm gonna fuck your mama like her, she was a cattle. <laughs> gonna milk all her udders. I'm gonna apologize to all my sister's brothers. I wanna tell you I had a good time. So sorry I can't rap. Sorry I can't rhyme. I can do is dance like a baby. I won't bite you. I don't have rabies. Come on down to Harlem Town. Turn your frown upside down. Struggle. Come on down to Harlem Again. Come on down. Strength is yellow, grief is brown. Come on down the heart. Rooted beggars, reach for my veggies. I'm so sorry, hammers are called sledgies. I just decided that. Sledgehammer, an abbreviation for it would be sledgy, doesn't matter. Let's move on. Go to Home Depot. It's the store that you all know. Its headquarters are in Atlanta. I, I really respect you guys. That's all that matters. <laughs> Give me a 
second. I'm not fucking it. I'm gonna take a shit. Just miming, don't worry about it. Rape it on my face. All over the place. Feel my poop, feel my pee, feel me. Reach for me. Feel me, reach your hands up and try to touch me so the documentary looks like I did something cool. <laughs> oh, I wish I could touch you. I wish you could touch me. Take it. Come on down to Harmon Town. Yo, turn that sound outside. Feel it. Pee's yellow, pee is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. What's your name? Come on down no, it's not. What's your name? More like Kelly. What's your name? How do you know you're finished? What do you do for a living? How do you know when you're finished, too? Come on down to Harmontown. Deep south with the pain of the scars. All the airplanes and the railroad cars coming through one hub, coming through one place, making strike for every human being and race. But you gonna rise up, prove everyone wrong. You're gonna sing a motherfucking sea humming song. Gonna do it in this laughing skull. I'm gonna go outside and smoke a bowl. I gotta buy a t-shirt on the sidewalk. I fucked your mama like she was a fried walk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming to Harmon Town, everybody. Jackie, Deanne, Spencer, Aaron McGathy, Nathaniel Metz. All of you lovely, beautiful people. Let's all go out to the bar and uh, enjoy ourselves, shall we? Hang out. God bless you.